A bill allowing Texans to carry a handgun without a license inching closer to Governor Abbott's desk. House Bill 1927 seeks to do away with the license to carry requirement for those 21 and older. The night team's Patty Santos busy today and she talked to the bill's author and tells us why several groups, including law enforcement, are against this measure. Tyler Representative Matt Shaver says law-abiding Texans should be trusted with personal responsibility when it comes to handling guns. Criminals have an advantage over law-abiding citizens. And so it's time to restore faith in law-abiding Texans and allow them to more fully express their Second Amendment right to keep and to bear arms. He's the author of a bill that would allow those 21 and older to carry small firearms without a permit. He cites vulnerable women and those involved in domestic violence situations as examples for the need. They do not have the luxury of waiting weeks and weeks and weeks uh, for them to get a permission slip from the state of Texas to protect themselves. But there is strong pushback from many, including several law enforcement organizations who say they're worried about public safety. It's reasonable and important to ask that someone carrying a firearm in public know how to safely handle and store a gun and have a basic awareness of the laws related to weapons and the use of deadly force. Concerns echoed by those on the front line of weapon safety education. Firearms instructor Mike Taylor says some well-intentioned people don't know how to properly handle a deadly weapon. The students that I have coming into my class are, are not very prepared. And a, a lot of them are very nervous on the range. They have limited skills. And almost every other class, I have someone loading the bullets in the magazine backwards. Schaefer says Texans will still be held accountable for their actions. The laws against misuse of a firearm in Texas are very strong, and those laws will still be in place. That was Patty Santos reporting the measure would still be illegal for people to carry a gun into sensitive places like schools and courthouses. If approved by the Senate this week, it will need the governor's signature to become law this coming September.